Hey everyone, today I want to help you guys out with setting up the round kick. We're going to use this against the leg, that's where I like to throw it. Uh, very, very, very good kick. Love this kick, however, there's a lot of places it gets thrown in the wrong time, wrong place. Um, so we're going to give you some setups, how to open, create openings so that you can throw this and not compromise your position. If you need help with the footwork, we have another video that we did on advanced footwork. Highly recommend checking that out and you can learn more about the angles and everything we're using to set this up. Thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoy it. Today we're gonna to show you an execution for the leg kick. The round kick is extremely powerful kick. However, it's it can be executed in the wrong place at the wrong time and then we get punished for even trying. So when we're looking at the round kick, there's a couple of pros and cons. He sets up, if I get this kick on his leg, I'm aiming for the inside of his thigh or the outside of his thigh. So from here, inside, here, outside. Anybody who's had a Charlie horse in their life knows this really hurts. And when you're fighting, this can buckle your leg and it can make your leg uh, unstable. You, know, you don't really want to stay in that position. So obviously it's a powerful kick. Here's the problem. I throw the kick, but he's advancing on me and comes in as I'm throwing. Now you can see I'm not in a very good position. The same if I come in and I cross critical distance to attack him, he sees this kick coming because it's such a big kick and he moves. So then I waste it, I lose the energy, and you can see the position I had after puts me in a disadvantage for his counter. So I wound up, threw the kick, he moved, and I have so much energy committed to this that now I can't do anything to back out. So neither of those, I, I don't find either of those to be very helpful. So while it's a powerful kick, I want to make sure that I time it right. So to execute this properly, we're going to use it when he steps in to throw that punch. I'm going to step back and angle and then cut back in with that kick to his outside line. So he comes in with that big bomb, step off line, throw your kick. The nice thing that I like about this here is especially he's got a big step so I may need to shuffle and step to get off line. When I do that you can see with Thomas I'm still in range for the kick but sometimes you get excited you go way back here. Now I'm hitting him with my toes. That's not very... doesn't feel good. <laughs> I'm hitting him with my toes and that's not going to feel good. So here I can easily make a small shuffle back in that connects me with the bottom of the shin as the impact point. So don't be worried if you go a little too far, you can always come back in and close the distance. If he's throwing more than one punch obviously, so he comes in, you got to step, but if you look at my position, now he has to adjust his stance to get back on line with me to throw that punch. You have a small safety window there. When they step in, if you go over here, you can fire the kick. Even if he's throwing that and coming forward, I still get the kick off and I'm adjusting my position over here so he can't fall on me. We're going to still use step back and angle, but our partner is going to shuffle instead of stepping. So he shuffles and punches, I still step to this outside line here. Now his inside line. I go and then I come right back in with that kick to the inside of the thigh. Be prepared to block that punch because he's going to snap that out in your face. And he's probably looking to punch you with a second one, so you got to have a good guard position. But he's still expecting me to be over here too. So I want to make that angle and then fire the kick. Now, 
if he's coming in heavy, then my first step isn't gonna be enough. So I need to gauge his response, how aggressive he's being. If he's coming in hard with that and I go here, he's gonna follow me and throw the second one. You can see I don't have a good position to throw the round kick there. So I just go twice. One, two, step off line over here. And now I have that outside line for the thigh kick. I hope those setups for the round kick help you out and you're able to use that effectively the next time you spar. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'm happy to help. If you like our videos, please subscribe and get hooked.